Last week over on Instagram, I asked you guys for some outfit creative scenarios that you'd like ideas for. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I've chosen five to create outfits for. And then also, if you like this sort of video, be sure to let me know because there were a bunch of Christmas, like holiday themed ones that I would love to create as we get closer to that time of year. So let's get started. So this is an interview look that is with a creative director moving into a date night with a rock star. So there's a few things that I wanted to keep in common for both. They both need more of a boss lady look, right? So I've got these stilettos on and I carried that up with these pants that really give more of a Janet Jackson vibe, you know? Then also because it's an interview, then having a button down, white button down will work for most offices, more, most dress codes. And then because a blazer is just very typical for an office, I went ahead and wore that, but it's not a typical, you know, it's not the traditional blazer. So this one's with velvet and it's a little bit longer and it's just a little bit less structured. Also, I wanted to finish it off with just my everyday jewelry. I like to layer on lots of rings and that definitely has that rocker vibe. And then adding that also with my bag. Um, just carrying that leather look throughout the outfit. The second look is all about bookshops and coffee shops and thrift shops. This whole look is something where I can walk a lot and still feel comfortable. So I've got a much thicker heel on my boot. You could wear sneakers, but this is more of an elevated look and it's also monochrome. So that kind of works in my favor as well. The collar here on my sweater is removable, so you can just go with just a black cashmere crew, or you could add that for just a little bit more femininity and lace, which really plays up the vintage like bookshop finds. I love this one bookshop in town, by the way, where I grab a bunch of old books and just have a collection. Nerdy, I know. <laughs> but I did want to wear a trench because Days like that could be a bit chilly. You don't want something that's too cumbersome or heavy as a jacket either necessarily. Also, it works for like rainy days where you just wanna read inside a bookshop and maybe get some coffee. I would say that the bag choice was good for if I want to buy some things and fill up my bag, uh, carry some extra things with me, and also look incredibly chic. If I wanna to go to an art museum and look like the curator, I would definitely say that black and white is a good choice. So that's what I'm doing with this outfit today. I might not be carrying a purse with me, but in case I wanted to, I wanted to throw this one on again. And I wanted something that also would have a very elegant look. So I went with my most formal pants. These actually need to be tailored up just a bit doing that next week. And then this outfit actually is on repeat from another video where you guys loved it. So wanted to use that one again today and talk through it a bit. This trench is very old. It's from Aritzia originally, but I found a very similar one on Quiana. I can link you guys to in the description to just tie the look together. Let's say that you are walking outside or it's just a bit chilly inside, then using a tie belt from the leather pants before really will work here. So here's the final look. And also one thing about this jacket, I'm a petite and it's still okay to wear a long trench if you're wearing the right shoes with it. So I've got my highest shoes on with this, um, some ankle boots that just peek out a little bit. So I think we've all been there where we thought that it might be a date, but we weren't exactly sure. I know that's how Zach and I first started. So I wanted to find an outfit where it was contouring to my figure, but not too showy. So I've got an open neckline here. Um, I've got a matching bra underneath, but it's not like that vivid. Then for my cardigan, I wanted something that would keep me warm, but nothing that would overwhelm me either. So it just kind of matches my proportions and kind of looks chic and mysterious. That's really what I wanted is a mysterious look. So do what you like for shoes and for purses, but these could work if you wanted to just look, you know, flirty, but not too much. Okay, I cannot tell you guys how many people asked to catch the eye of their barista. So that's what I'm doing today, at least for a Nashville look. This is definitely what I would say to wear to any of our like 
hundreds of coffee shops here. So number one, I think that it's always important to wear a hat if you want to have that like who is she look. It does add a little bit of mystery and definite style. It also makes you look a little bit more adventurous in your style, which makes you stand out from the crowd. So I'm wearing a fedora today, and then also for the rest of the outfit, I'm keeping it more um, chic and sexy to a degree. It's just like a hint of sexy. It's mostly casual. This is very open, and I'm wearing a bodysuit underneath, so you really get an idea you know, from the cash register up, <laughs> what I look like. Uh, also, because I'm petite, I'm wearing a little bit of a heel and that will make sure that I do stand above the counter. So that's another important part of being noticed. And then lastly, I would say that when you're going to pay, it's important that hands and purses um, are on par. So I'm wearing my jewelry as well as a purse that has a little bit more of a style to it with the jewelry accessories there. So those were the five looks. Be sure to let me know if you like this sort of video so I can put one together for the holiday looks. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.